So numbers are one of the hardest things to report and to make interesting. At Bloomberg, we get lots and lots of numbers every day. Market data, we get economic data, and the question is, how do you turn all of that stuff into a story? Journalists don't like numbers, they're kind of scary, we're not always that good at math. And the idea to tell a good story with numbers is you have to find a face really quickly. Some person that personifies what you're trying to tell the story about. So we're going to take a story that I did in 2007. And back then, we started to get numbers that showed us there were a lot of delinquencies on mortgages for people with not very good credit. You know them now as subprime mortgages, but then it was just this sort of picture of anecdotal data. And what we did was we looked at states where there were very high delinquency rates. One of those was Louisiana. So I went down to New Orleans and tried to find a face, a reason for people to pay attention to the story. We went to a credit counseling agency, and they helped us find a borrower who had lost her job because of Hurricane Katrina, and there were lots of people who had subprime mortgages there. Hers was an interest rate of 13%. My house was totally damaged, and... And now I'm looking at, you know, the increase, another increase, because if the house was damaged, the mortgage payment still went on. So we put her out there, you meet Corliss Gaines, you see she can't quite afford her payments, and then you have to take her story and make it a little more global. And that's where this graphic comes in. More than 20% of Louisiana's 60,000 subprime borrowers were at least 30 days past due in the last quarter of 2006. Okay, so it's not my favorite graphic, it's a little old, but you get the point. It takes her story, other people's stories, and makes it broader. From there, you can tell the story about how this problem might be spreading. And then we started to talk about, what does that mean for housing rates in New Orleans? What does that mean for credit? Does that mean if people can't start to pay their mortgages, that banks or other places will pull back on credit? So we're able to do all of that because we had Corliss in there, because she's sympathetic, and because you start to understand that economics and telling stories about economics is really just a collection of little data points of human behavior. Once you have one person, a face, then you can connect all of those numbers and they actually start to come together as a narrative as opposed to just being the kind of data that we get.